Alright, well, let me hit you with some Minecraft. So, this is going to be a bit of a tour uh, sort of thing, a little bit of an update since the uh, live stream's here. We have been busy, and I am going for a swim for some reason. So, uh, for those of you who haven't watched the live streams, which is probably most of you, some crazy things have been going on. In fact, I've been really covering Minerva as well recently, given that I've been a little busy doing other things. Uh, we got a few new members. So, first of all, Tom Joe went ahead and built a Milotic right above spawn. Or right, right above the storage room here, because he said it still needed an umbrella. And I think this is one of the better additions I've seen in a while. Danernet, and I don't know who all is involved, was working on this, where they're trying to get everybody's skin on a map. And I think mine is over here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's accurate. I don't know. I, I like my skin the way it is, but Minecraft really just doesn't have the color palette to really do it justice, so we're unfortunately going to have to settle with that, and I don't know what these chests over here are. People have been busy with some purple purple shulker boxes. But what I wanted to show off is the fact that we have finally begun construction of the slime farm. On screen now, you should see a nice little overview of how the slime farm looks in creative. And in survival mode, we have begun the process of getting things started uh, in survival mode here. And we have started with a bit of the down low, so we haven't really quite done the big, bold stuff quite yet. Uh, in fact, I've been doing mostly the magma blocks and then the powered rails below. And uh, Iron has done a ton of work, huge shout out to him, on getting the structures up here. So, a couple of the things we're actually doing last, it <laughs> is falling down. A couple of the things we're actually doing last are the mag is the lava on the bottom, because it's dangerous and likes to burn stuff, and, um, and the actual spawn floors so that we can get as as few mag or as few uh, slimes as we possibly can. You'll see that some slimes are still spawning down here at the bottom, but they're just jumping towards the golems and then sort of dying in the magma blocks. And uh, we don't really have any minecarts collecting those items yet, so they're just kind of chilling there. I have no idea how many entities we got. So, yeah, uh, this thing has gone pretty well. In fact, we haven't done a ton of work yet. Mostly Iron's been working a lot off camera, and I have done a couple live streams, but I do plan to get back into things as we continue on here. But uh, let's check over to the patron server and see what they've got going on. So far, kind of the same thing I showed last time. We still got just an AFK account on. People have been logging out a little bit. See, after you get that first month or so of a new world out and about, uh, what needs to be done next is no longer readily apparent so people don't typically play as much after about that first month this is normal in every world I've ever played people have that initial drive where things are going on and I'm talking Xbox PC every world I've ever started people play a lot in the beginning they get they like to get stuff going and then when the sprint turns into a marathon, people tend to drop off. And that's completely fine. People come and go. But uh, in their sprint, the Sprayton server has gotten the entire perimeter for the Quad Witch Farm set and ready. And I'm not going to spoil their plans, but what they have, uh, what, what they've been setting back and forth in the patron chat is pretty awesome. Uh, they have an entire plan for this entire perimeter. We got some really cool uh, builders and designers in the process of getting this going. Uh, some of the patrons are pretty talented and I can't wait to see what's going to happen here. But if you guys want to help on that project or be involved in any way, you can uh, purchase access to the server for $5 or more a month on the patron link in the description below. So if you want to be a part of this community, then uh, check, check that out because I think it's pretty cool. And I like to come on here during live streams to sort of just spectate what's going on. And in the future, I have the fullest intentions to log on in survival mode and maybe even dig with you guys or help build up a farm or somebody can hand me a schematic I can help do something I don't know I, I haven't I, I've made it abundantly clear that I do not plan to play here regularly um, Minerva is kind of my home I, I don't even have a single player but you know if there's a, an event going on or if there's something easy that I can do to help out I am more than happy to hop on here and uh, help these guys with whatever they're doing but uh, let's hop back onto Minerva and see what else we got going on okay no there are there are some things that just shouldn't happen in this world is Jaffe doing redstone oh god is this some alternate dimension alright I, I don't know what the f that was but we're over here at the spruce tree farm so if you guys didn't actually see this in the live stream uh, it's been completed kind of so the story behind this thing is one of our builders one of the designers from Minerva went ahead and built up a spruce tree farm which is fantastic because we need the wood uh, a lot of the spruce wood specifically is needed for the slime farm construction and uh, we kind of just needed a really fast tree farm for whatever trees are needed for you know chests or pistons or 
crafting tables, I don't know, wood is just a fundamental uh, tool for a lot of different crafting recipes, and uh, this tree farm is pretty invaluable. And in the live stream, I went ahead and fixed up a lot of this. We got a uh, shulker box loading system down here, and it actually overflowed itself a little bit. It was backing up into the hoppers while we were playing golf. I uh, didn't quite see that coming. I designed a shulker box unloader on the fly here. I, I might make a video on this, but it's, it's pretty basic and primitive. All it does is just fill this thing with bone meal, and it's pretty simple. But uh, let's actually hop in here and show a few trees growing to close out this pretty quick little video. Now the only problem that I'm actually having with this tree farm at this point are some pistons getting stuck on the top floor. I'm not entirely sure what's going on over there, but I will have to bug fix this later. Uh, as of now, I've just sort of shut it down because as the trees were getting stuck, it was restricting some of the growth and slowing this whole farm down, but as of now, it's been pretty lovely. Uh, just kind of AFKing this thing while we're doing something in the background, getting absolutely tons of wood for all of our wood needing purposes and uh, the only result of that is a little bit less saplings in return but we're already operating at a surplus here so I'm not complaining and uh, this thing has been fantastic so I was kinda happy to fix this in a live stream hang out with my friends had a few laughs um, we're pretty sure Jaffe was trying to figure out how he could drink more Red Bull without killing himself uh, we concluded that he would need to drink about 121 cans so the four cans he drank was less than lethal but I'm still concerned that might be why he's doing Red stone or Adderall either one but uh, that was just kind of a quick update video short and sweet so I hope you guys enjoyed this little rundown of what we've been doing on Minerva uh, I plan to do more live streams we'll get more stuff done like this and I hope you guys enjoy these little quick videos because I think I'm gonna be making more of them uh, that's it for me thanks for watching